So, community questions. We've got a really good one from Heroic. How much time do you put into making a character? I don't know, about two days, three hours, 45 minutes. Seriously, it uh, it's actually... We, I, we... I, I know the number, actually. Oh, do you? So, yeah, it takes us... Um, it takes about one month. Um, there's several people involved, and that's mostly art and, and uh, design. But that probably equals about somewhere between two and four man months of effort for each immortal. And to be clear, that one month of like real time that starts is after the pre-planning phase. It's not a month, hey, let's design the character and then get him implemented. We actually have a lineup of champions right. already designed. In fact, there are seven. There are right, seven right, right now, now. Including PyCon, there are seven in the pipe. Can we throw out one name? Just a name? For the uh, actually, yeah, I'll throw out the name Ukonin. You guys can actually Google that, see what it means, and it might give you guys an idea of... Uh, what we're uh, thinking of. And oh. by the way, they uh, don't happen sequentially. So in case you're wondering, uh, we do have... We're pretty aggressive with our plan to release new ones. Uh, we're aiming for at least one per month. We've hit about one every three weeks so far. And uh, so they do happen in parallel. So we don't work on one, finish him, start on the next one. There's multiple things happening at the same time. A common feature that has been requested quite often recently, and one that we've been working on for a while now, has been a report kick option. And this is one of the things that we wanted to talk about on this podcast to show the community here that we read the forums on a daily basis, we try to respond to your feedback, and we try to incorporate into the game a lot of these features as much as we can to make your gameplay experience more fun. So a report kick option is important to ensure that, you know, levers, they have cares, and some of these other feeders and other issues that players have been seeing is mitigated as much as possible. What have we been doing um, for this report kick option? To give you an example of how it will work, um, is in a 5v5 game, if four players agree to kick the one player who's been voted to be kicked, then that player will be kicked, and they will basically receive a lever penalty as if they had just left the game without the option to return. We do have systems in place to prevent abuse. Um, we are kind of ironing out those kinks internally, and we understand that we are not going to be able to cover all of the edge cases. So we will be keeping a very close eye on this new feature, and we will be very quick to react to any issue uh, situations of abuse. Yeah, it's basically... Uh... It'll, it'll work like an extension to the lever system that we currently have. Um, in addition to that, there'll be limits on the number of times you can be kicked before you have a longer term ban, basically, on being able to play the game. We'll give you a timeout. So in that way, you know, you won't be unduly penalized if you happen to get kicked from a game for circumstances that may be beyond your control. But repeat offenders will definitely be sort of weeded out. And this will be important in terms of supporting players and groups for other events that we have in the future. Things like King of the Hill tournaments that are actually going on right now. Uh, Game Replays is one of the sponsors of that. They're organizing it. And there's uh, over half a dozen teams right now that are competing against each other in, in a ranked ladder. And we have a couple of prizes like Petrick of Coins to kind of reward the top players and the top teams. We want to make sure that those experiences are as fun as possible for other teams that just decide to get together and to play. So one of the things we do have coming online uh, here pretty soon, there are a lot of concerns about the um, power level of one of our champions, Talia. And we have been working diligently to address those. So in the next few days, do expect to see a patch. And hopefully uh, there will be a great improvement to gameplay uh, with and against that particular character. Yeah, and I want to add, actually, we, this... Uh... You know, the concern with Talia has surfaced in the forums, and people are asking, hey, why haven't you guys fixed this already? And we fix this stuff as quickly as we can, and sometimes it just takes a little time to test and balance the changes. Because the last thing we want to do is rush something out that breaks, you know, the character in a different way now. <laughs> Zai's flying kick, anybody? So people often, I think, wonder why things aren't being fixed as quickly as they would like. Or at least, you know, to let the community know which is the point of this podcast let them know that they are being listened to and that we are working on some of these things it's, you know like oh. you said it just takes time yeah we we all read the forums every day i know at least on the design side um 
my designers are always looking at the forums. We def we are very, very serious about community feedback. Even though we don't react to all of it, even though we may not necessarily agree with everything that you guys have to say, our ears are always open to what your guys' opinions are. We want to make sure that we're making the best possible game for you. And that should be evident by uh, the new moderators we've been bringing on board the past few weeks. You've probably seen a few new faces in the forums, and we have a larger uh, support team to help you guys uh, get... Uh, the questions you want answered and the issues that you may have in the game resolved. So before we wrap this up, I did want to give a little teaser. If we're not working on making new items, we're making new characters, what else is the design team working on? I can tell you that right now we are working on a new gameplay mode. Um, I'm not going to give you a whole lot of details other than it will be cooperative. All right, thanks guys for listening to another Rise of Mortals podcast here. We try to make these as interesting as possible. Keep in mind that this podcast was split into a couple of parts. We wanted to really talk about a lot of stuff that has happened over the past couple of months, so we decided to you know split up to make it a little bit of an easier listen. So if you missed the first couple of episodes, they will be on our YouTube page, as well as, of course, in the forums. Thanks for listening, and we will have more podcasts for you soon.